What's going on, everybody? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kieran, and I like to help people using a spiritual perspective. All right, so welcome, guys. This is uh, cranberry juice, not red wine. That would be great, but it's just cranberry juice. Outside, I don't know if you can see, probably not. There's a glare or something. It's snowy, cold, and uh, miserable, maybe? I don't know. I haven't been outside yet, but it's probably miserable. Let's assume that winter in Canada is miserable because it usually is, okay? Right now, it'd be great if I was back in California on a beach drinking a pina colada and just getting absolutely shit-faced on rum. That would be great, but that's not what's happening. Instead, I'm doing a YouTube video. And in this YouTube video, I'm gonna share with you guys my biggest issue, I think, with spirituality, maybe new age spirituality, modern spirituality. I don't know how you how you necessarily want to frame it, but it is a problem and an issue that I've noticed uh, among people, large groups of people, large groups of spiritual people, large groups, um, uh, large ideas within groups of people, pervasive sort of thought processes and stuff. And to me, it's kind of turned me off, so to speak, from much of spirituality. And that, what I've noticed, okay, what really tripped me up, I think, probably about halfway through this four, four and a half year spiritual awakening journey is the concept of manifestation or IE getting what you want. Okay. Now really what I'm talking about here is not just some sort of negative way of thinking that you can't get what you want. Sure. You can get what you want. Why not? Right. Uh, however, spirituality is almost been hijacked into such a uh, such a way of existing that it seems that all that's pressed into people's consciousness, that's that all we're supposed to focus on is getting things, getting what we want. So spirituality has become a law of attraction bonanza. It's become this insane kind of way of using all of our intuition, energy, time, thoughts, emotions to get things, okay? a new laptop, a new car, a new job, a dream home, money, love, right? This, this idea of love and spirituality, attract our twin flame, get our soulmate. It's hijacked a very basic process and probably a more fundamental truth of spirituality, which is that to me, spirituality has never been about obtaining things. Okay, because one, you could do that anyway. That's been existing for thousands of years, the idea of obtaining things. Uh, instead, spirituality has always been about accepting that you don't have things, okay? Or at least one way of putting it, right? Acceptance of things. Accepting what you don't have, accepting what you do have, accepting that you're imperfect, accepting that you're okay, accepting that you have weaknesses and strengths, accepting what happened, accepting what might not, etc. Okay? Instead, so much of spirituality, especially this new age concept of spirituality, which is what I'm focusing on, is trying to get people to... Uh, to just think that they can get whatever they want and to focus on that, right? But what happens is that if you're constantly focusing on getting things and wanting more, even if you, you know, deserve it, maybe, I don't know how you want to frame that, right? Do we deserve things or we tend to judge ourselves so much based upon whether we're a good person, right? So a lot of people that I've met, talked to, uh, seen, you know, spiritually awakened people that they, they judge themselves a lot based on if they're a good person or not. And so their manifestation success seems to almost relate directly back to their own value as a human being. So the worse that they feel about themselves uh, as a person, the less that they seem to receive. Um, and yet at the same time, of course, people are being taught that it's not about accepting who we are. The focus has been placed somewhere else, right? The focus has been placed on obtaining things, which is a shame because at some point in your spiritual journey, if you're like me, drinking cranberry juice, you will probably come up upon some obstacle that can no longer be uh, can no longer be conquered, or the solution can no longer be found in information, right? God, cranberry juice is sweet. It's just sugar. Uh, so what's what I mean by that, right? At some point you come across an obstacle 
And before information helped you, law of attraction helped you, manifestation helped you, you could manifest a positive feeling, you could vibrate higher, all that other stupid shit. But at some point, it just seems like it's not helping. Nothing's working, okay? You, you've tried to get, get, to get out of a situation. You've tried to use the law of attraction or manifestation to obtain something, right? Because we're not just talking about material either. We're talking about trying to obtain a new state, a new state of being, getting out of discomfort, getting more money. The same idea, right? Because um, if you have more money, you get out of discomfort. So we're using material manifestations, possessions, ideas, goals, dreams to get out of something maybe non-material, a uh, feeling of sadness, loneliness, depression, lack of clarity, you know, uh, an uncomfortable living situation, right? So even if we're trying to manifest material and non-material things, they usually go hand in hand with each other, okay? And the biggest issue with that is, you know, when you, when you can't find a solution, well, what are you supposed to do? So you lose so much of your progress, it seems, in your mind, because you, things used to work and now they don't, because you come upon problems that maybe are a little bit more difficult, maybe not, but you come up to this realization that you can't get new things with old emotions, right? Typically. So all you really have left is to change your emotions and you can't change your emotions unless you go through something difficult, unless you do that shadow work or you lower your vibration. Right? And I really hate that those ideas of vibrations. I think they're absolutely nonsense. But you can't, you know, do any of that stuff. You can't get through a tunnel if you're not willing to go into the dark, okay? So you have to deal with yourself. You have to deal with your emotions. And if you're not willing to deal with your emotions and go through this type of discomfort, then nothing that you want is going to come anyway. And we're very bad, uh, we're very bad at, at thinking we know what we want. Oftentimes we get what we want. We don't like it. You know, sometimes... The things that we didn't want, we end up liking. So we're not very good at judging what we want or just want. Okay, so what we want, what we might not like. We're horrible at this. Humans are very bad at this. So as to why an entire section of spirituality is dedicated to getting what you want is not a good thing. Okay, it would be much better to not get what you want, but, you know, not get what you want anyway, but to go through a period of transformation and come out the other side, someone who cares less, is more at peace and understands themselves more. That is infinitely better than just being handed $10,000 or a dream job or a new partner or whatever, uh, and, and then not actually having changed as a person at all, because that's not really spirituality. Otherwise, it's, it's, just, it's just blatant materialism, and we probably have enough of that.